everybody, Jamie here with a kind of a post van build. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. You could call it a report. A big fat thank you. I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Just take a minute and talk a little bit about it. The channel hasn't had a lot of content going up on it uh, in the last few days. We have a lot more coming from the van build to film still or to edit and upload still. So there's more of that coming. But I wanted to talk about a few things uh, about how it went. First of all, I think we came out, I don't have all the numbers yet, and I didn't want to wait for the numbers. Liz hasn't been feeling well, and she has that information as far as ticket sales. I think we came in around 450 ticket sales, about 1,500 people in attendance. Uh, the ticket was per rig, but a lot of people showed up around the event. Uh, so I think those were pretty close to the numbers of uh, when it was at its peak. We were unseasonably hot. I pick November in this area because usually November comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb weather-wise, but uh, the first couple of weeks were just blazing hot. And so I really want to thank the volunteers and everybody that pitched in for working under those conditions. I, I try to do the best I can weather-wise for you on that, and some things just didn't work out in our favor. We had some, uh, but you guys hung in there, and I really want to say thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. About 75% of the folks that showed up were volunteers. Maybe they were volunteers and they were getting some drapes made over at sewing or, or uh, having some welding done by uh, Alan and Steven. But uh, very high percentage of volunteers. I really appreciate that. We had uh, some rain come in one day that uh, was kind of a scare at first that it was gonna be this big rainfall that could be a problem, but it didn't turn out to be. But a lot of people left probably, I don't know, Mm, a little over two weeks in or 10 days in to be out of the scare of the weather, but uh, it just rained one night, about all night, nothing heavy. And then it pretty much just cleaned our solar panels and knocked the dust down. And then it got windy the next day, which dried everything out. And so, and then the weather changed to something a lot more cooler and a lot more appropriate. But, uh, so that's what happened with that. We had, uh, you know, I'm the guy that's responsible for setting up the teams and managing the resources for how many jobs we take, whether it be solar, fans, uh, carpentry. And so I set all that stuff up, but what I didn't plan for was so many walk-ins at the, at the door. So the walk-ins threw my numbers off. So we had a lot more solar installs. I think that was probably the biggest thing. There was some carpentry installs that kind of threw us with the numbers, but mo mostly solar. Most of the whole van build is solar, but the uh, sewers knock out more jobs. The, the walk-ins got us on that. So next year we're gonna change that and make it so if you walk in to get your ticket, it's just a spectator ticket because I really need that information going in so I can manage and not overload these guys. I mean, they're just volunteers trying to do their best to help out. And, and you know, it's not fair to them to have it be one number in the beginning and then all these walk-ins uh, making it a different number. So we're gonna manage that moving forward. We're also gonna manage the size of uh, the solar installations moving forward. I know what's needed when you live out in a vehicle. I lived in an Astro van with 280 watts of solar and ran a uh, refrigerator, a Dometic refrigerator, two laptops, a TV, used a coffee maker, even uh, eventually ran a fan off of 280 watts for five years. And so we're gonna manage, I'm not saying 280 is gonna be the new number, but we're gonna manage the size of the solar installations moving forward because we wanna focus more on need uh, moving forward in these because the numbers are just exploding. This thing doubles in size every year and this year was no different Even with the format change of having a ticket price and so we're gonna we're gonna work to uh, To manage those resources a little bit better make the installs more appropriate to what people's needs are We're gonna create liaisons between the uh, admin tent and the teams that are doing work So they're not uh, interrupting, you know their jobs to look at work orders and stuff It's just getting so much bigger you know, the first year that I did this, I wrote everything on a, on the side of my trailer with a dry erase board, all the jobs, and it worked out fine. The next year we had to do something a little more complicated. The third year we had to do something a little more complicated. And then we had the fourth year, which uh, big thanks to Dan and Liz and Wendy and the admin tent, everybody that pitched in there to make it more out, uh, organized using Alpha 5, but we still have some room for improvements as we grow, and we're gonna make those changes. So with that, I just wanted to uh, get with you 
and thank all the volunteers. Thank everybody that pitched in on that on that uh, wish list, that Amazon wish list. That was huge. You know, we asked for more 30 amp fuses and more of some of the little extras that you need for installations. And as usual, man, you guys came through in spades and I really want to thank you for doing that. Thank you for uh, helping out uh, CC, get a new van, get that thing built out. That thing turned out great. So uh, big thanks to everybody that contributed there. As for the jobs we completed, we completed over a hundred solar installations. I'm not gonna get way into the numbers because Dan uh, did a video on that. And so just click the button that you see up above. I'm not gonna steal his thunder. He worked the management of all of the workload and he has all those numbers. But uh, once again, lots of fan installs, solar installs, a ton of carpentry work. Thank you to all you guys that did all that. If I start mentioning names, I'm gonna leave somebody out, so I'm kind of reluctant to do that. But uh, I really appreciate you guys doing what you did, and you did it you know, as volunteers, and that just means so much, and it really speaks to your character to, to pitch in and help folks out like that. So, But the numbers, let's go over to Dan's page, and uh, he'll run that down for you on uh, how all that shook out. I wanna thank Will Prowse for showing up, giving us a presentation on solar. If uh, you're new to solar and you think you might want to do the install yourself, he has a book that he put out and it's on Amazon. You can uh, click the link in the notes to get that book. So big shout out to Will Prowse. Thanks for uh, presenting. Uh, Jilly, Jay, uh, Cammie and Tamara, uh, Frank for doing the Baja presentation, just all the presentations. I don't have a list in front of me, but uh, I just want to thank everyone that uh, helped us all learn a lot from your knowledge in your particular field. So thank you for that. Having solar panels on site. Huge shout out to Santan Solar. I want to thank Dan, Whitney, and Austin for pitching in. I know there was another guy the last day and I didn't catch his name, but you guys worked your butts off and made a huge difference and never got one single complaint about the quality of your solar panels. So we appreciate you guys coming, providing those solar panels, and we look forward to working with you guys in the future. Uh, big uh, thank you to Interstate Batteries. Came out, uh, offered their batteries uh, at a great price. That was gonna be uh, Matt and Ken. I know Ken uh, came in one day, wasn't even feeling well. He still stuck it out, trying to get people into the right batteries to fit their needs. So huge thank you to those guys, made a big difference. Having that stuff on site, I mean, even Santan Solar brought solar controllers and, and uh, different little extras that you would need, uh, Z brackets and things. And so it really made a big difference in helping things run more smoothly. So I wanna thank you guys for that. I wanna thank the, uh, the company that, uh, that uh, we use for the debris boxes. We got two 40 yard debris boxes filled, both of them up. So you guys did a great job. I wanna thank you for that. I wanna thank uh, Christy over at River Septic for providing. I know that uh, uh, Ed was down there and Aaron was down there putting the, uh, the porta potties out. Came out, we needed them emptied more than uh, we, we had anticipated or more than we planned for. And they came out special and helped us out on that, cleaned them, put fresh toilet paper in them. So I wanna thank you guys for helping us out with that. Parker Mail and Parcel. Frank, thanks for helping us out with the price on getting uh, shipments in at a special uh, van build price. Darius, I know that you were overloaded down there, so a big thank you for taking that on. Uh, everything went great, no complaints. You guys did a fantastic job, so thank you. Tile for providing the, uh, the tents, the big uh, TP tents that we use for both admin and some of the presentations. And also he set up a tent for the sewing station it came out great, Tal. You did a wonderful job with the radio station. We had a radio station broadcasting. In the future, we're also going to have uh, that radio station broadcasting. It's a way for people to not only stay up to date, we would give daily uh, kind of updates and reports over the radio station. And sometimes people couldn't make it to the presentations for whatever reason. Maybe they had medical reasons that they couldn't make it. Uh, having that radio station on site made a huge difference for people to feel more included and not be out of the loop on what's going on. So I really want to thank Tyle for putting that on. It, it, it was a huge amenity. He also set up movie night. He also uh, set up the mics for the presentations and also the live music. Everyone that did the live music, thank you for that. You guys did a great job. Uh, Aja with the uh, karaoke, always a big hit. Thank you for that. With that, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do moving forward? I've got a few things uh, in the cooker. I've got some uh, reviews, some power station reviews that I still haven't gotten to. Three separate ones, and I've been using one of them with a lot of success. I'm excited about the other two, to be fair. I haven't even opened out of the box yet. 
but uh, I've got three more reviews coming. I, I took on a lot of these power station reviews going into the van build because I wanted to look as, at as many as I could to give us as many options as possible. And uh, as it shakes out, I still have three more to go, but we'll get to those and we'll talk about their benefits and we'll test them. We'll test them out in the sun with some solar panels. Uh, have something very special for Liz coming up. Liz uh, did a great job in the admin tent. She was out there in a tent of her own sleeping and, and uh, enduring that rain and enduring that wind. And so we've got some special things coming up for Liz on the horizon to be on the lookout for. We're looking for land right now. Uh, Roger is uh, with the city planners right now, kind of getting the lay of the land of what we need to look for that would fit our criteria. Uh, big thanks to the BLM office, by the way, because uh, those guys always do a fantastic job. So everyone down there, Caroline, Ranger, Ranger Sullins, everybody that stopped in to monitor the event. You know, we, we uh, had that uh, van catch on fire at the very beginning before the van uh, build even started. So what's on the horizon for us is we're going to be, we're looking right now for land. Roger's down with the city planners kind of figuring out how our criteria is gonna fit in with what's available in the area. We may go outside the area. I'd, I'd like to keep it in Arizona for the Southwest van build. We'll look into East Coast van builds. We don't wanna to get too ahead of ourselves. You know, we still wanna get our process down a little bit better. Still wanna get our website down a little bit better, make it more uh, cell phone friendly. But, uh, you know, at this point, we are looking for land to do this moving forward, a, a piece of land that we can put amenities on and have it make a lot more sense. The vision that I have is, for one thing, I know that we need flagpoles up with uh, the different colored flags for the different stations. When folks show up, they don't know where to go. And so if we had flagpoles up at the different stations and, and a little admin tent at those flagpoles where folks could check in when they come to get their work done, we would, uh, it would just make a lot more sense. We could make a little map with, with the lay of the land, kind of like one of those little cartoon maps, like if you go to Disney World or something, at least that's what I got when I was a kid. Uh, we just want to make it better, make it make more sense, put more amenities on it, and uh, not have to deal with the constraints of the, the uh, BLM when we're kind of more or less borrowing the land from them. And so that's what's on the horizon. We're gonna uh, get ourselves a piece of land, build this thing out as best as we can, have it make a lot more sense, and just help a lot more people in need. That's the, at the end of the day, that's what we're really trying to do here is just help people that need just a little something that we can do in a short span of time to make their lives just a little bit better. And so with that, I just, again, want to thank everyone for coming to pitch in. We had folks coming in from, from Florida, you know, Southeast, uh, Maine, Northeast. We had folks coming in from Canada. Dan, I know a bunch of other folks came in from Canada. We got folks coming in from the Pacific Northwest, just all over the country, just to donate their time and talent and sometimes come out of pocket on some things. And so I just want to thank all you guys for doing that. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you go through to come help other people. And so again, thanks. And uh, on the horizon, we've got uh, the videos I mentioned coming up and I know there's going to be some other stuff too. So thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody that came to the van build, everybody that pitched in to help other people out and we're just going to keep it going. So with that, we'll uh, see you real soon on the next upload. See ya.